Hello, welcome back to Stay with Sailor. I'm Stephen. And I'm Kayla. And we've just come from the Savoy, but we're now here in Bodmin at Bodmin Jail Hotel, where they have turned a old jail into a luxury hotel. Inside, they do have a champagne bar, they have a restaurant. There's even a jail museum that we're going to check out. There's also a spa, I believe, where mm. they do facials. There's also a gym. And then, of course, a restaurant where you can have dinner or breakfast. Apparently, it's haunted. No, I'm out. <laughs> the entrance, they've got this, they're like chains instead of poles that hold up the entrance. And as you walk in to the left, you can see the old rock of the building. It's so beautiful. So our room is 108, which is in this direction. Let's take the lift, actually, instead of the stairs. We'll take the lift. Ooh, energy saving. It looks freaking beautiful. That looks so cool. So you've come up to the third floor, which is the top floor of this building, so you can get the view of Bodmin up here because the lift has a glass wall. Don't be judging in the comments that we got the lift for the first floor. So we are here, the first floor in the civil wing. So this is the gangway of the prison and around it are where all of the rooms are. If you look on this side, it looks like they've got some of the original doors of the prison. Room 108, here you go. This is us. Gosh, the room has really kind of taken me back. Although it's so incredibly rustic because of all of the rock it's so modern what they've done with the space but they've used three cells so we the room here is two of them in the bathroom will be one cell it feels very cozy the curved ceilings make it just feel like a little bubble and yeah can't wait to show you yeah let's show you the room okay so as you enter the room you have this little rug that says the bodman jail hotel luxury history cornwall up here, you have all your signs. We have please come in, room service, breakfast menu, and do not disturb, which we've already put on our door. And then you're presented with the mini lounge. So we do have a sofa bed, I believe. You can see the, uh, the bed underneath there. Lovely. Right. We have our phone. We have everything you need, such as all the sugars, brown sugar, white sugar, some Cornish hot chocolate, Cornish tea, more Cornish breakfast tea, some biscuits and some decaffeinated coffee as well. Then moving on to the absolute luxury is complimentary luxury chocolates with the Bodman Jail branding. Would you like to open oh, it? sticky toffee. Then of course you have a TV mounted beautifully on the stone wall that we were talking about and the cove that I was telling you about earlier is slightly curved and it just feels really cozy with double curtains nice and thick it tells you about the cell that you are staying in or the room that you're staying in that used to be a cell so we have Charles Blight. This was where he stayed in this particular cell. You can see how small the window is. Um, and there wasn't much of a view. It was peeking through some trees to a sky. You also have a full length mirror, which is super handy just before you leave the door. So time for Stephen to show you the main part of the bedroom. Inside the first cupboard, we do have the hair dryer up there, two glasses, even though it's a family room, only two of us. There is a safe here as well, a really small one. So don't expect to put your laptop, maybe an iPad mini will fit in there. We have the kettle and a teapot and two cups. I'm really happy to see that we have a teapot rather than just making an individual one. It just makes kind of relaxing over there with the chocolates on the sofa a bit more romantic. At the bottom here is the, the mini bar. So what do we get? This is complimentary. We get spring water, still and sparkling water, which works perfectly for us because I am a sparkling man and Kayla is a still woman. And we get cow's milk, not UHT pots. Something to be aware of, I already smashed my fingers. I was opening the cupboard and then, whoa, 
get caught in between there, so be careful. So here you have your hangers, this way you'll hang up your clothes. There is storage up the top as well. No branding, no Bodmin hangers. Somewhere to put your bag and a couple of not very deep. As Kayla was mentioning earlier, they do have spa treatments here. The Cell Serenity treatment menu. So you can get things like facials, massages, and they've all got prison-like names, like life sentence, death sentence. Uh, maybe we'll miss those ones. So in the side drawer, you have a drawer at the top. My camera bit's already in there. And the bottom is actually nothing. Oh, so you do have one this side and the same again on that side of the bed. You have these lights that have warm lighting, a reading light with these. Now look how small those switches are. I've never seen that. Uh, you do have a plug with a USB and three prong. Um, not many plugs in this room actually, so be aware of that. There is a couple by the TV, but the TV uses one. There's one on that side of the bed and there's one here. There's also controls to control the lights in the room so you can turn, oh look, so you can turn everything off when you go to bed. Now onto the bed. Luckily, it's not two singles joined together. It is actually a double bed. You get two pillows. Oh no. They are some of the softest pillows I've come across yet. Look at that. A little chop and it's near enough in half. So I'm probably going to be using two of these this evening. And of course, the most important part of any room is the bed. Oh, that is actually a really comfortable mattress. It's firm. It almost feels like, firm, like yeah. it's got a memory foam topper. I love it. And the luxury headboard, it just feels so nice. And to look out this way where the TV is just beautiful. It's really nice. Let's go check out the lovely bar. Oh, I don't want to move. But yeah, the bathroom, the bathroom is probably the best thing about this room. Let's go. Okay, so firstly, the lighting in here is just so relaxing and spa-like. You might notice that with the original brickwork, there is no main light above your head, but there is gorgeous mood lighting around the mirrors. There is a light above the shower, which is super helpful because obviously it's a dangerous environment and you don't want to slip. Before we go into the shower, we are presented with lovely robes. Cannot wait to put that on. So main shower head is above. It's actually quite wide. And we have the handheld, which as you guys know, I've mentioned before, it's so much easier because us girlies don't have to get our hair wet. And then we are presented with this beautiful in cove, which I love about the shower because you can put all your products. So this part where the shower is actually built in would have been where the original cell door was. So I'm assuming that's why there's an indent in here because it has the extra space. Everything looks super polished and very clean so far. Here we have the gorgeous sink, nothing more to it. Then we have a little complimentary note that says you can purchase these bottles and take home with you for £10 a bottle. So something I noticed immediately was the attention to detail. They obviously made a little flower out of the tissue box. The bath itself, it's probably one of the most beautiful tubs I've ever seen. And then this here is where the water will come out and it controls the plug as well. So you don't have those annoying clunky taps in the way. So your controls will be up here on the wall. Nice and clean and not very messy. And then just above the bathtub, we have where the original cell window would have been. Then moving on to this side of the bathroom, we are ending it with a heated towel rack. Cannot complain, we all love a heated towel when you get out of the bath or the shower. So that has been our hotel room here at Bodmin Jail. I'm really taken back. I think this might be one of my favourite hotel rooms. I know I said that last video but the character in this one and the history is something special. It just looks so beautiful. I could definitely stay here for a while. So we are going to now, um, we're gonna leave the room. We're gonna go check out the rest of the hotel. Hopefully see some of its history, the restaurants, the museum, if it's open, we might be a little late. If not, we'll try and catch it in the morning. But yeah, let's go check out the rest of the hotel quick. Cool. So it looks like they've even got prison cells that you can visit. So come in, come in, come in. So this would have been two cells. So this is one here that you've just gone through and this is another one here. This is bigger than most 
flats in London. This gives you an idea of what the our rooms are like because the room is three of these. So a room is one cell, one cell, and then the bathroom is another one. Boom. I'm gonna leave you in there, sorry. <laughs> Bye. So it looks dead. I wanna go through. Yeah. Hold on. So they got these huge frames. I don't know if they're significant people. They don't have plaques next to them on the wall. This looks like it could be what Bodmin was back in the day. So here above the fireplace, we have the last governor. We saw the hanging of William Hampton in 1909. Gosh, I wonder if this is the way we're supposed to go. See where it takes us anyway. It's an adventure. Oh, this is the chapel restaurant though. We should book, we should book a reservation. Gosh, this is beautiful. So no one's actually having dinner in here yet. Okay, so we just did a walkthrough of where dinner is going to be and where breakfast is usually held. And there was a secret stairways up to the library lounge. Um, so we thought we'd come and have a look and it's separated with curtains so you can make it nice and private and just take time to unwind like this is beautiful there's leather sofas there's little lamps as well um, and yeah just some time out whilst you're enjoying your luxury stay so nicely tucked away and hidden and really relaxing and the smell throughout the whole hotel is very spa-like. It's a very good point actually. So as you leave the library lounge that we were just in, check this view out. So we've just done the walk around. We did want to go and check out the restaurant, although we did get to see what the restaurant looked like. Really busy in the hotel today, so getting a reservation was unfortunately hard. But we will be able to check out the chapel for breakfast. So you will still be able to see it, but we won't be able to show you dinner. I think it's time for a lovely hot bath. I'm cream crackered. I think it's time to rest up. So we'll see you guys in the morning for breakfast. Good night. Night. So, good morning. Morning. We just got back from breakfast and it was okay. Aside from the fact we did have to ask four times. Four. To, until we finally got our coffee, we were able to drink it. We'd finished our breakfast at that point. But they did offer you an a la carte menu where you can order your eggs, your meats, and you can then go up and choose pastries, fruits, and yogurts and juices as well. I got my usual special K cereal with some fruit and there was very little yogurt left but we scraped what we could yes. <laughs> and I also got the eggs royale but all of it it just wasn't hitting it for me this the morning. salmon came out the smoked salmon it came so out so fishy. thick and fishy it was it just put me off my whole breakfast sadly and that's probably not their fault it's probably just first thing in the morning it just I didn't like the smell of that definitely a mixed bag because yeah. for me the bacon was some of the best bacon I have ever eaten I thought it was incredible um, so a bit of a mixed bag it did have this in rather incredible potato that had the sharpest edges I think I've ever seen on any food but overall breakfast mm, it was included so, and I am full so that is something I think we're gonna go check out the museum now we didn't actually realize but if you're staying at the hotel book your tickets for the museum at the desk where you check in and you get 20% off if you did it through booking.com or any of those third party providers and you save 20%. Go easy on me. I've learnt my lesson. I'll put the toilet seat down. That's it, you're guilty of being beautiful. Wow. Look at this beast as you walk in. I do get Hotel of Terror vibes as you walk in that you might have seen at Disneyland Paris. Oh God, I'm getting scared. <laughs> the adventure. 
adventure. Go go first. So I don't want to spoil the attraction, so I'll give an overview. You will go through and will witness stories about some of the prisoners that were at Bodmin Jail and the terrible crimes that they had committed. They used projection, lighting effects, even holograms to deliver it. I thought it was so cool. After you'll be able to see the prison in its original form and learn things such as children used to be put in jail for 10 days as punishment and scientists coming up with humane ways to effectively execute the prisoners. It's pretty sinister. But it is interesting. So pre-warning, if you're sensitive, this will be a rather emotional visit. So in the museum, you can actually, well, as you can see this, this is one of the cells, a real classic cell that was part of our hotel room. So three of these made up our room. We learned a lot about the kind of the hotel that we stayed in, the place where we stayed in overnight, but it's a really good thing to do actually, probably before you stay in the hotel, because you walk around, the knowledge that you gain through the museum, you kind of appreciate the grounds a bit more. But what an interesting place. This is pretty crazy as well. The original hanging pit you hear. I'm not gonna show it, I'm just gonna show the sign because it's a bit disrespectful, some really bad things happened here, but crazy that you can see the original hanging pit. So for this family room, I did pay 180 pounds. And with that, we got a breakfast as well. So for the experience, for the unique stay, I think it's it's well worth it. So thank you for staying with Stayla. Hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Ciao.